turnovers. They got it all done tonight. Let's hear from Steve Nash post game. Tell us from your viewpoint what turned things around after that, you know, a little bit of a slow start. Well, it couldn't get any worse uh, than this, and, uh, the fum fumbling around we did at the start of the game. But, uh, you know, we just tightened up. We relaxed a little, um, started to find ourselves. And uh, most importantly, we, we picked up our defense. Um, you know, it's one of those nights where they, they couldn't make a shot after the first segment of the game. But at the same time, I thought we handled business and, uh, and increased our intensity and, and our, our, our um, you know, decision making on defense improved. And uh, we were pretty solid. You've, you've talked a lot about the chemistry and how these guys continue to bond. Is the way that you guys turn things around in this game kind of a microcosm of that? Is that an extension of that in any way? Um, and, and the way that you guys have grown as a team? Mm. Yeah, I think that's fair to say. I mean, you know, and, and we might have turned it around regardless, but I think it is, um, you know, a facet of we it, we didn't waver, you know, when we had a slow start and they were up, I don't know, 12 and, and whatever it was for a moment there. Um, and I will say our energy and our, our connectivity has been outstanding, and we're getting better in that department uh, every week. And you can feel it and see it, and and that's something that we got to continue to invest in. Bruce Beck with NBC New York. Hey Steve, uh, hard to win eight in a row in this league. It, it, I don't care who you're playing or when it happens. How do you reconcile that, my friend, eight in a row? Mm. Yeah, like, a big part of it is our, our, our group's bonding. You know, they're growing together. They're starting to feel success and, and roles are, you know, showing up. And, and you can sense it out there that they, that they are having more fun, that they are connected uh, offensively and defensively, that they have a lot more poise together. Um, that collective experience, while we're still a new group, is, is starting to come through. and. Um, you know, I, I think that as much as the improvement defensively, um, you know, understanding defensively and, and the fact that we realize that defense is a, is a, a you know, a weak spot for us, you know, so we're, we're they, they're, they're locked in, they're focused, and for the most part, they're, they're working at their defense. So those two things for me are the most important. Brian Lewis with the New York Post. Hey, Steve, clearly this is a pretty comprehensive win, but I mean, if you could just touch on what you got from Nick Claxton and how impressed hmm. with you on, his, on the defense of him in particular. Hmm. And Nick's energy was outstanding. Um, you know, he hasn't played for about a year, so to, to play these last two games and for him to be as disruptive as he was tonight, I think, um, I think he had four steals and two blocks, um, you know, and an assist, a few rebounds. So. You know, he, he's uh, somebody that we, we believe in and think he's got a lot of upside and continue to grow and just take it step by step with him. But I was impressed and really happy for him that he had success out there tonight. Alex Schiffer with The Athletic. Hey, Steve, Brian actually touched on my last question, but just to kind of piggyback off from the thing, you know, you had said on Sunday that you were trying to be cautious with him and didn't want to put a lot, a lot on him early. Is it safe to say that, you know, he's, he's given you more than maybe you were expecting this early, just given a long way off, and as you said, a little bit of practice time in the nature of the season? Yeah, I think that's fair. You know, um, he's just had a rough go of it with injuries and the amount of time from the shoulder to the knee and, and everything. And, um, you know, you never want to have too high expectations because playing actual NBA games is different than the stay ready group, than uh, pick up basketball, than, than the limited amount of things he's been able to do over the course of the last year. So it's a big leap, but um, it's a testament to the coaching staff that, that work with him every day and, and to his diligence with his work. Uh, you know, he's worked his butt off to put himself in a position and he was very productive tonight. Christian Winfield with the New York Daily News. Hey, Coach. In, in January, Landry shot 25% from three. Uh, in Well, that's December. In January, he shot 32%. And now in February, after tonight, he's, he's shooting over 40% from three. Just what have, what have you seen from him uh, maybe that lets you know that eventually he was going to start hitting his shots at a higher rate? So you're saying he'll be over 50% in March? I like where you're going with this, Christian. It's... Uh... <laughs> Um, but I, I think uh, he, Landry's a, a really good shooter. We all know that. It's just a new situation, new environment, new role, trying to, you know, turn that corner. And, and he's starting to, 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 I think, have that confidence and uh, comfort in what we're doing. And uh, it's great. You know, he works hard and he's very conscientious of, of his craft. And so 
Um, I'm proud of him for, for kind of turning that corner and, uh, and just, you know, sticking with it. So it was great to see him make some shots tonight, but in general, he's been playing better and better. Last question, Matt Brooks with Nets Daily. Yeah, I have a question about Tyler. Um, I've noticed that he tends to like pl uh, press like either three quarters of the co uh, court or full court. Is that something that's sort of more at his discretion, mm -hmm. or is that something that you guys as a staff are trying to mix that in? You know, really, he took responsibility for that. Um, you know, we we encourage it, but he's. You know, that's what he's going to bring to the table is that energy. You know, he's making shots, which is great. He's he's uh, taking care of the ball, but his defensive energy is outstanding. And for him to pick up full court just to just to throw something at the other team is, is you know, it's just another layer for us. And it's great that he has that energy to do so. And that's why we, we put him in the game in the first place more than anything is just his competitive nature. You know, he's a real competitor and tough and fights. And, uh, you know, that's something that I think has added to our team a great deal.